Hey, everybody. Hope you are doing well. We're going to go back to the very first Government Mule album, and I want to tell you a little bit of a story before we start this. So I've always said that I loved Government Mule right from the very start of the band, and that is mostly accurate. Um, when I saw the ad for this first album in the back pages of Guitar Player magazine, I was absolutely psyched. I loved Warren Haynes from the initial outset of his appearances with the Allman Brothers. I loved Tales, from or Tales of Ordinary Madness, his solo album. And so when I saw this advertised, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I got the album instantly when it came out. And I put it on, and I was a little taken aback. I didn't initially love it, and I don't really know why. Perhaps I thought it was supposed to be like, Almond Brothers sterilized down to a three piece rather than, you know, the big Almond Brothers band. And um, so I, I, I put it in a drawer for a little bit, probably a few months. And then I pulled it back out and I, for whatever reason, I listened to it again instead of just dismissing it out of hand. But I think the second time I was more open minded. I knew I wasn't going to get the, uh, the Almond Brothers uh, in a three piece band. I knew it was going to be something different. And the second time I listened to it, a few months after buying it, I was absolutely blown away. And they quickly became my favorite, uh, my favorite band or one of my favorite, you know, bands of all time. And um, so I, I, I honestly think we're going to listen to the first two tracks off of the album because they run concurrently and they should be played together, in my opinion. Um, the first song is Grinning in Your Face, and I think it's incredibly ballsy that they released their, as their first track Warren Haynes singing a cappella. And then we're going to run that into Mother Earth, which is immediately following Grinning in Your Face. And it comes in and hits like a sledgehammer. I mean, it is so powerful. Um, and that's where it went. So when I describe the Allman Brothers to people, I'm sorry, when I describe Government Mule to people, I always describe the first album, the first three albums, really, as, you know, the Allman Brothers meets Cream meets Black Sabbath. And so the second track, the way it hits, is more along that hard drive and heavy Black Sabbath type of punch that you that you got off of early Sabbath stuff. And um, it just, like I said, when I... When I wasn't approaching the album with a preconceived notion, that's when it took hold. And I've been addicted to the sound of Government Mule ever since then. So without any further ado, let's check out the first two tracks off of Government Mule's self-titled debut album, Government Mule. Don't you mind people grinning in your face? Don't mind people grinning in your face you just bear this in mind a true friend is hard to find don't you mind people grinning in your face you know your mother would talk about you your sisters and your brothers too yeah, don't care how you're trying to live, they'll talk about you still. Oh, but bear who this in mind, a true friend is hard to find. Don't you mind people grinning in your face? You know they'll jump you up and down, they'll drag you on around and around. Just as soon as your back is turned, they'll be trying to crush you down. Yes, but bear who this in mind, a true friend is hard to find. Don't you mind people grinning in your face? Two, three, four.
Like I said, that's the first two tracks on the debut album. And again, if you had approached it like I did when the when I first got it, um, with the preconceived notion that the song that the album was going to be very more, very much more Allman Brothersy, that would not have been what you were looking for. And so again, you know, I, I put it away. Um, but when I rediscovered it, when I re-listened to it a little bit later. It's just so, so strong. And it's not like any other, well, I mean, you can't say it's not like any other trio I've ever heard, but, but I mean, it's, it was very, very unique for its time. That's for sure. And um, the other thing that's really striking about it, if you listen and pay attention to it very closely, it's live in the studio. I mean, that's the band standing around or sitting around or, in a, around playing the song live there's no overdubs on there i don't even think they went back and overdub vocals on it and so i mean they managed to capture a live performance in a studio setting and they captured it perfectly because then you know shortly after this i went and actually saw them live i think they were opening up for the black crows at the time and um I mean, they it was they pulled this off live, and clearly they had performed it before. I I have um, bootleg DVDs of early performances before they ever got their their recording deal um, in you know smaller clubs around I I think the Atlanta or Georgia area somewhere in the southeast, and um, you know they they clearly had their material worked out before they went into the studio because. This entire album is virtually overdub free. And uh, it's just, again, upon second listening, without those preconceived notions, my mind was absolutely blown. And most of the fans that I know of the band had the same basic experience. It was like, wow, this is not what I was expecting, but whew. And again, to start off your debut album with an a cappella vocal performance. Um, that's just that again, it's, it's pretty ballsy to be, to be straight up, you know, if they had played other, you know, recorded another song and put that in front and then came out with the acapella, uh, vocal, you know, uh, you know, grinning in your face and then into mother earth, uh, you know, like say fourth or fifth track on the album, it wouldn't have been as striking, but it is absolutely monumental for it to be the first track into the second track on the, on the album. It's just, like I said, one of my favorite bands, if not my favorite band of all time. I, I, easily within my personal top five. Okay. Um, with that said, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We could talk about it further. And um, I appreciate y'all. I wish you all well. Take care.